What's up guys, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and you are seated in the cockpit of an Ariel Adam V8. Uh, this car kind of rose to fame on Top Gear. Um, it had it set the track record at the Top Gear track for a street legal vehicle um, that stood for two years until Pagani finally broke it. But uh, what you're sitting in is, is the cockpit of a, basically it's almost has as much in common with a motorcycle as it does an open wheel car. And um, it's, it's about 1.1 to 1 uh, power to rate weight ratio, or sorry, weight to power ratio. So very near that elusive 1 to 1 ratio that street legal cars strive for. Um, this is uh, the manual version of the car. I was an early adopter of this car. I supported it uh, as the guys were developing it. And uh, so I have sort of an ex exclusive release version uh, that's not available to uh, those of you that download the full version. But, uh, or sorry, the full release version. But uh, I'm going to take this out for a spin, and it's not that different from the full release version. So um, it'll just kind of give you a feel for the car. So as I said, uh, this thing has a V8 engine behind me. It's belting out somewhere around 500 horsepower, and I guess that makes the, uh, the vehicle about 550 kilograms without me in it. And... Um, so tremendous power to weight. Uh, it's reported to do 0 to 60 in about 2.3 seconds. Now, the problem with that much power and not much weight is it, and by the way, not not a huge downforce monster like you'd expect sort of an F1 car or something like that to be. So uh, you really have to watch your throttle and brake control. Um, you won't get an appreciation of my braking because the... Uh, the brake meter on the left, lower left of your screen is not analog, uh, but the throttle control is. You can see I'm not going all the way in, but you're seeing the results in speed there. Uh, 270 kilometers roughly down this uh, straightaway. But uh, again, you just have to be very, very sensitive on that uh, on that throttle going around corners. Um, but that is not. That is not a bad thing. So I do really, really enjoy this mod. I've had a lot of fun with it. As I say, I've been been with it for quite some time. And uh, I was very proud when these guys uh, got the full release because I kind of followed the saga. And that's the thing, you know, a lot of people want to wait for, uh, for a full release version so they don't have to pay. But there is some sort of emotional investment when you uh, see a team bring it along and kind of interact with them and, you know, hey guys, I've just noticed the seats are not accurate or something like that you see it get the full release and there is some sense of community there and that's kind of what we strive for as sim racers right we want to be part of the community not everybody sim races so uh, yeah it's just kind of fun so get out there and support your uh, online modding teams um, yeah so as far as the mod goes i really like this uh now that it's in full release and everybody can download it i totally recommend this this has kind of been whoops the class of uh of the Pagani, as, as mentioned earlier, um, I think the Zonda R would beat it in a lot of categories just because the Zonda R is much more stable around the track. It's a heavier car, um, but similar kind of power to weight ratio. But uh, yeah, there's, that's not to say this thing is any slouch. It's going to beat anything else uh, street legal, I'm sure, in this game. Um, yeah, requires a lot of the driver, as I said. It feels very. Uh, jumpy on the track, it was very bouncy to drive around, but uh, a lot of fun nonetheless, so uh, good way to work on your uh, kind of brake and throttle control, and uh, manage how you hit those uh, apexes and when you're back on the throttle, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to give this guy, what's my score on this thing? I don't really see any reason not to score it a 10 out of 10. Um, as I said, I'm somewhat invested, I was with this since early release, so... Maybe I'm a bit biased, but so be it, it's my show. But, um, it is a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Just gotta uh, it's a lot of tires there. Uh, just kind of gotta watch how you drive it. But uh, once you kind of get a feel for it, you realize that you just can't give it uh, full go all the time. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, I think the uh, track times you set will be very, very impressive in this car. So, the uh, Ariel Adam V8, um, available, of course, to race the button.
Dang. <laughs> Should have quit while I was ahead. Uh, this is available through Race Department. Um, it is a tremendous mod. They've done a great, uh, great job with this car. So uh, totally recommend you get out there and drive it. And uh, this has been Mike for Sim Racing 604. And thank you so much for watching my review of the Aerial Atom V8.